It's here. After years of rumors, leaks, promises, and strategic silences, Tesla's much-talked-about popular car has an official internal name, NV91. This code, until then, a whisper behind the scenes in Palo Alto, has now gained confirmation status, and with it, the expectation of a true watershed in the history of electric vehicles. What seemed like just a bold idea from Musk now has a body, structure, and even a set date to hit the streets. The idea is simple yet revolutionary, to offer a compact, affordable Tesla priced under $25,000. And the best part? It arrives in 2026. But it's not just a cheaper car. The NV91 shares the same platform as the NV93 project, the one that promises to be the next-generation autonomous robo-taxi. This means the Model 2 was designed from the ground up to be modular, adaptable, and highly scalable. And here's the kicker. By sharing architecture with the robo-taxi, Tesla not only cuts development costs, but also creates a new mass production line with the potential to supply two segments simultaneously. It's like building two different cars with a single skeleton, and that changes everything in the efficiency game. The fact that the NV91 has moved from theory to engineering means the Model 2 is officially off the drawing board. Teams are already working on technical design, testing prototypes, and, most importantly, analyzing the feasibility of global production. If you were one of those who doubted this car would ever see the light of day, it might be time to change your mind. Because yes, it's coming, and faster than anyone imagined. Even suppliers have begun receiving the first sketches of what will be Tesla's new base structure for the entry-level segment. Sources close to the company's headquarters revealed that preliminary engineering testing began in September 2025, and the pace has not slowed since. Digital simulations have been approved, and some components are already being manufactured on a small scale for physical testing. This alone demonstrates significant progress on the schedule, which now points to the assembly of the first functional units in the first quarter of 2026. And if there's one thing Tesla knows how to do, it's accelerate when it smells a revolution. One of the most concrete pieces of evidence that the NV91 is coming to life are the images captured by enthusiasts on the roads of California. Although camouflaged with dark tarps, the vehicles have noticeably smaller proportions than the Model 3, with more compact lines and a look that stands out from the rest of the Tesla lineup. Many thought it was just a secret facelift of the Model 3, but the silhouette gives it away. It's a new body, designed from the ground up, with a total focus on urban agility and resource conservation. In fact, the NV91 marks a strategic turning point. Unlike previous launches, which followed a premium line, Tesla is now targeting the everyday consumer, the worker who needs efficiency, economy, and durability. And this requires a completely new approach. Less luxury, more industrial intelligence. Tesla seems to have understood that the future of electric vehicles lies not only in $100,000 cars, but in models that any family can afford without going into debt for a decade. Prototyped in silence and caught on the move, that's how the Model 2 began to be noticed on California roads. The images, taken by attentive Tesla fans, revealed something peculiar. A smaller car, covered in dark tarps, but with distinctly different proportions than the Model 3. Visual measurements indicate a 15 to 20 percent reduction in length, and that alone is enough to raise an eyebrow in any enthusiast. It wasn't just a facelift, it was something new, something that, despite the camouflage, exuded innovation. The vehicle's silhouette reveals a detail that caught our attention. The slightly raised hatchback-style rear end, a first for the Tesla lineup. The curves are more aggressive, the sidelines more fluid, and the front end appears to have been redesigned to improve aerodynamics without compromising its appeal. The curious thing is that, even without any visible logo, fans knew exactly what it was. It was the Model 2, or rather, the NV91 gaining muscle and tires. 
But design, in this case, isn't just a matter of aesthetics. Everything was designed to optimize space and cost. Tesla reduced the car's length, but maintained a generous wheelbase to preserve interior comfort. This was possible thanks to the new modular architecture being used in conjunction with the NV93, the RoboTaxi. An adaptable chassis with interchangeable components allows for everything from an urban vehicle for small families to an autonomous platform for fleets. It's engineering with purpose. Contact with suppliers has already begun, and this is always a telltale sign that production is approaching. Internal reports indicate that Tesla is already soliciting quotes for specific Model 2 parts, such as lower density batteries, panels molded from new alloys, and a more compact and efficient air conditioning system. This shows that the company is not only thinking about the car itself, but also adapting its entire supply chain to make it viable on a large scale. And we're not just talking about North American suppliers. Tesla's global network has already begun to move. Suppliers in China and Europe are being activated to ensure that when the assembly line starts running, everything is ready, from the screws to the central control software. This also shows how seriously and quickly the NV91 project is being treated. This is no longer speculation. The Model 2 already exists in parts, shapes, and serial numbers. The most interesting thing is that, despite being a cheaper version, the Model 2 doesn't seem to abandon Tesla's visual identity. The minimalist lines remain, the headlights maintain the sleek, futuristic style, and the rear light cluster is expected to feature a new light signature, exclusive to the model. It's the kind of detail that shows how the car can be compact while still conveying sophistication, key to attracting a new audience that wants a real Tesla, even for less. The burning question is, how will Tesla manufacture millions of Model 2s around the world without leaving any market in the lurch? The answer begins with a trio of giants. Production will be divided between three strategic centers, Gigafactory Texas, Gigafactory Shanghai, and Gigafactory Berlin. Each has a clear role in Elon Musk's electric dominance plan. The logic is simple, manufacturing close to the buyers. This reduces costs, speeds deliveries, and eliminates dependence on long logistics chains. And as a bonus, it circumvents regional tariffs and regulations, starting with the Texas factory, which will not only account for half of all global Model 2 production, but has also been completely redesigned to do so. A new sector, internally referred to as Megaline NV91, is being adapted with a full focus on the new platform. Everything indicates that the facility will be the first to operate with the new non-linear assembly process, the famous unboxed process, which Tesla patented in late 2025. This process is so revolutionary that it allows for the assembly of a complete chassis in less than 20 seconds. That's right, 20 seconds. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Gigafactory Shanghai is preparing to supply the Asia-Pacific region with about 30% of total Model 2 production. The Chinese facility has been testing advanced automation methods with the Model Y since 2024 and is now adapting everything for the new compact car. The speed there is impressive. With 85% automation, each car takes about 35 seconds to roll off the production line. The idea is to maintain this pace or even improve it with the Model 2. And this makes sense considering the extremely high demand for compact electric vehicles in cities like Beijing, Mumbai, and Jakarta. In the heart of Europe, Gigafactory Berlin plays a crucial role, serving as the Model 2's gateway to the world's most demanding continent in terms of sustainability. Although production there represents 20% of global production, it is strategic. The focus is on serving the European market with cars that leave the factory already adapted to European Union emissions, battery recycling, and energy efficiency regulations. And of course, all this without neglecting the European charm, which demands well-finished, functional cars with a touch of sophistication. The choice of three geographically well-distributed factories also demonstrates how much Tesla has learned from the pandemic's bottlenecks. 
The idea now is to reduce the risk of global shutdowns and ensure that if one continent experiences problems, the other two can handle demand. Furthermore, this allows for local supply chains, which means less transportation time, lower freight costs, and greater control over part quality. Another point that often goes unnoticed, but makes all the difference, is the specialization of each unit. The Texas factory, for example, will concentrate on models with the most advanced technology and a large export volume to Latin America and Canada. Shanghai, on the other hand, focuses on entry-level models geared towards large urban fleets. And Berlin? Well, Berlin will be Tesla's laboratory for testing new sustainable technologies, from integrated recycling systems to solar panels on the cars themselves. If there's one word that sums up the Model 2 production plan, it's tear down. Dad, but not in the sense of destroying, but rather deconstructing everything we know about car assembly lines. The so-called unboxed process, it's not just an incremental improvement, it's a complete departure from the traditional mass production model. Elon Musk has made it clear that the goal is to make car manufacturing as fast and precise as smartphone assembly. And, judging by the numbers, he's getting there. The essence of this process is to divide the car into three large modules, front, center, and rear, which are assembled separately and then joined with surgical precision. There's no need to drag the car along a linear line like conventional assembly plants. Here, the blocks are machined in independent cells, each equipped with specialized robots and state-of-the-art sensors. And all of this is orchestrated by an artificial intelligence system that learns and adapts in real time. It sounds like science fiction, but it's already being tested in practice. The heart of this revolution is the 50,000-ton gigapress, capable of casting an entire car frame in seconds. Tesla spent years developing this metal monster and will now put it to work in the production of the Model 2. The result? A 70% reduction in structural welds, which not only saves time, but also increases the body's rigidity and safety. By eliminating hundreds of smaller parts, the company also reduces points of failure and improves consistency between vehicles produced. And the impact on costs is brutal. It is estimated that unboxed process reduced the Model 2's total production cost by about 45%. This is what makes it possible to put a Tesla on the road for under $20,000 without compromising quality or performance. It's not magic, it's cleverly applied math. Tesla has found a way to deliver more for less, and it's a game changer. While competitors are still struggling to lower the price of their models below $30,000, Tesla is already thinking about how to cut assembly time in half. In fact, here's another startling statistic. Each Model 2 charter seats CT mod hardy two chassis can be completed in 20 seconds. This means that, theoretically, a single line equipped with this technology could produce thousands of units per week with a much smaller workforce. And while this raises questions about manufacturing jobs, it also shows how far ahead Tesla is in terms of industrial automation. Musk has already warned, the future of automotive production is radically automated. And now we understand exactly what he meant. But the curious thing is that, even with all this sophistication, the process was designed to be simple to scale. The idea is that, once the assembly model is up and running in Texas, it can be easily replicated in Shanghai, Berlin, or anywhere else in the world. Everything is modular, everything is replicable. Model 2 production becomes almost like software. Install, configure, and start running. This kind of thinking is rare in the automotive industry, but absolutely common in the technology world. And that's where Tesla differentiates itself. The benefits aren't just financial. The process's energy efficiency also improves, as fewer welds, less internal transportation, and less assembly time mean lower energy consumption per unit manufactured. This helps Tesla keep its promise to reduce not only the emissions from the cars it sells, 
but also the environmental impact of its production, a detail that may seem small, but it weighs heavily in the European and Asian markets. Now, imagine that this affordable Tesla model, already with a finished design and a factory in full swing, also arrives with something many thought impossible. New generation batteries, much cheaper, more durable, and faster to recharge. The Model 2, scheduled for 2026, will no longer rely exclusively on traditional lithium batteries. And this is a turning point as important as the car itself. Elon Musk has made it clear that Tesla's future lies in lithium independence. And this begins with a trio of energy solutions ready to enter the scene. The first option is an optimized version of the well-known LFP, lithium iron phosphate batteries, now combined with a light touch of NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, or even recycled materials. This blend improves energy density without significantly increasing the cost. The result? A range of 320 to 350 miles with just 55 kWh and a 0 to 80% recharge in 18 minutes. For those looking for durability at a fair price, this is the kind of choice that makes sense. What's more, it's already passed testing and is ready for production. But Tesla didn't stop there. The second option is sodium ion batteries, which have been causing a stir in the industry. They cost less than half the price of a lithium ion battery, withstand extreme temperatures from 23 degrees C to 60 degrees C, and still deliver up to 400 miles of range with 75p and most impressively, they charge up to 80% in 10 minutes and last over 7,500 cycles, with minimal loss of capacity. It's the perfect combination for urban use, with intense routines and frequent recharging. And best of all, they're stable, safe, and already approved for mass production. But the crown jewel has yet to shine. The third and most promising technology is the aluminum ion battery, still in the final testing phase. Here, the story is different. Energy of up to 400 Dadi Twalis a range of 450 to 500 miles at 78 kilowatts, and a full recharge in 7 minutes at 250 kilowatts. It's almost the same time as filling up the tank of a gasoline-powered car. And with one detail that can't be ignored, these batteries have a lifespan of up to 12,000 cycles, with less than 5% loss. That's more than any car owner could ever dream of. These aluminum batteries use graphene for the cathode and recycled aluminum for the anode, which is not only more sustainable but also 40% cheaper than conventional lithium. Elon Musk has hinted at this technology several times at recent Tesla events, and now it's clear why. This could be the key to elevating the Model 2 to a level of efficiency no competitor has been able to match. And if the final version is confirmed for release by the end of the year, it will almost certainly be available as an option for early buyers. Most interestingly, instead of choosing a single solution, Tesla decided to offer multiple battery options for the Model 2, depending on region, climate, and usage profile. This breaks with the industry standard, which typically limits consumers to one or two fixed packs. Now, drivers can choose between more range, more fuel economy, or faster charging. And this flexibility could be just the difference needed to convince the average consumer to make the leap to electric. Another clear advantage of this range of options is logistical resilience. While companies that rely exclusively on lithium suffer from global market instability, Tesla gains the margin to adapt its production to whatever is cheapest or available in each region. This protects the final price and avoids delays. A detail that may seem technical, but ultimately means cars arriving at dealerships without surprises in the final price. The moment everyone has been waiting to know arrives. When will the Model 2 arrive? And how much will it really cost? Well, if schedules continue at the current pace, and everything indicates they will, Tesla should begin deliveries in the first months of 2026.